Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for mid-November. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. I'm going to pull some cards for singles towards the end. But for now, focusing on those of you who have a connection with someone. So let's see. The person that Taurus has in mind, what's their energy towards... Sorry. This person's energy towards Taurus. What's their energy towards Taurus? Tower. Oh my goodness. Lovers. Oh my goodness. Could be a Gemini for some of you. Oh gosh. Eight of Cups in reverse. And... All right, all right. This person is... They're wearing a mask at the moment. They've got the Magician in reverse. They are low-key waiting on you. They low-key actually want to return to the person they have feelings for. Obviously you, especially with the lover's energy here. However, they're not showing this with the Magician in reverse. This is someone who is hiding their feelings, hiding what's truly going on, pretending as if, you know, pretending to be the opposite. So in this case, pretending to not be interested but low-key they're waiting three of ones this person could be watching you on social media um i'm getting the the message that they are how do i put it like looking at trying to figure out your mood or where you're at when it comes to them emotionally like seeing if you still have feelings if there's going to be any sign that could indicate that you still have feelings for them or something like that or that you miss them or want to speak to them they're looking for some type of indirect post about them or something because they just don't want to show um and this this is this this is the behavior of a gemini moon so some of you may maybe gemini moon because we have a gemini card here but someone who, who doesn't want to appear as though they miss you with this tower though why the tower why is the tower here? Clarify the tower, please. Okay. I am getting the feeling that if you've moved on from them, they may be shocked by this. And like, if this has happened already, then they've already seen it and they're shocked. Or if it's soon to happen, they will be shocked. But any like indication that you may have moved on, it's almost like a stab in the back for this person or a shock if this is the case for you but let me see what's taurus energy towards their person magician okay two of pentacles will of fortune and these right here you're trying to figure out um what to do here you haven't taken any action yet but some of you are thinking okay maybe i could make peace some of you may have multiple options coming your way as in people wanting to date you admirers mm. sorry they're moving they're moving stuff around upstairs so there's going to be some little noises here and there but this i'm seeing that this um situation it has potential based on what you do or what you decide to do but keep in mind that like this person them hiding them hiding all of this can be a red flag but it's up to you it depends on the person you're dealing with but not being honest about how you feel and just kind of watching and waiting is not the best action <laughs> let me see what's the mutual energy here devil could be a capricorn for some of you and strength both of you there's either, it's either this person who is a little bit obsessively watching or feeling still tied to this connection or you both still feel tied to it but this connection it may be really strong and i see that you want a really good outcome you want things to change for the better but you are indecisive about the situation and it could be because of this person's behavior what's coming up in the near future for taurus in love 
And then in the near future for the connection. So some secret is going to be revealed. Moon in reverse. Could it be that they finally stop wearing a mask and tell you how they really feel? Maybe. But there's something that's going to be revealed. I see you either focusing on yourself and what you have going on in your life or being willing to work on this connection. But some of you may be slowly getting over this while in separation. Slowly getting over this person. Let me see. Oh gosh. I was flying all over the place. All right. What are the messages for Taurus? Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. There's so many cards coming out. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and call them in your soulmates. Prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. We have very soon clearly decide what you want, so it comes to you now. So those of you Taurus people who need to make a decision here, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, decide if this is worth waiting for or if you want to call in a new soulmate who could be the one. It could be that this person is the one or someone else. There may have been a financial situation. I see if there was a financial situation with you, I see you correcting it and being focused on that. And I feel like the more you focus on your career, your work life, the more you start to get over this person. So if you feel like they're not right for you, just stay focused and you will get over them. But we've got Pisces, Cancer Energy, Leo, Capricorn, Gemini, and fellow Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Going on with Taurus in love for the mid November. Taurus in love, mid November. Taurus, you're getting over this person. The longer they take, the more you're going to get over them. I see that some of you have a desire to, to have someone back who you lost. So some of you really want to come out of this Five of Cups energy, whether it be making up or getting over them. You just want to get out of that, that energy. And this person wants to come out of a break, Five of Swords and... Four of swords in reverse, not five. And there's Libra energy. And here we've got the moon in reverse again. And we've got the tower in reverse. So the question here is, are, are we rebuilding this connection or not? The tower being in reverse. I feel like that's your decision to make. Because I feel like this person is open to it. And with the moon in reverse, they may be feeling like they're starting to find out things about you, especially like what I said earlier, them kind of watching you and trying to gauge what mood you're in or where you're at when it comes to their, your feelings towards them. They're trying to find things out. I feel like they, they feel that they're in the dark. They don't know and they're trying to get more information because they want to know if it's safe to make a move. So they may be feeling some type of insecurity or lack of confidence when it comes to reaching out to you. So they feel safer just kind of gauging the situation first. But the mutual energy here is that both of you are in this process of this either making up or moving on type of thing, either making peace or moving on. But neither of you want to be in this position at the moment where it's uncomfortable and there's feelings of rejection, missing each other, anger, love, all, all these mixed emotions. Very, dis very, very uncomfortable place to be. So you're seeing them as justice in reverse. You feel like they've been unfair towards you. 
So obviously a lot of you are not making a move towards them. The decision will be yours if they make a move towards you. But I feel like a lot of you are just staying focused on you. Okay, for the time. Defensiveness and a lack of communication is, is blocking this situation here. Someone needing the truth as well. I feel like you definitely need the truth since this person is hiding so much. But the outcome is the Six of Cups. This is a reconciliation card, particularly with someone from the past, someone who you have memories with, history with. So there's a sign there, but let's see. What's going on with the Empress? Clarify the Empress in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person feels... Especially for those of you Taurus, people who have moved on or they see that you are flirting or seeing other people, they may feel betrayed. This person might feel betrayed if they're seeing that happening. But... I feel like they just don't have the confidence yet to come forward. Why the moon in reverse? Clarify the moon in reverse. Strength. They're watching you, Taurus. How do they know all this? It's like they're 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 using your social media to get answers about you. So they may see you living your life, you know, achieving things, being strong. Because this person is, they're hoping to see if you miss them as much as they miss you. So it's like they're looking for a sign that you may have a little weakness for them. But all they're seeing is strength <laughs> and accomplishments. So this is making it more harder for them to have the confidence, to build the confidence to come forward. It could be a Scorpio for some of you. Why the justice? God, why are these cards falling out? Tower, two of pentacles. Some of you may feel like they wronged you by two timing, juggling you and someone else. You may have been shocked to find that this person would be so unfair. This is like your motivation to move on, I feel. Why the five of cups in reverse? Oh my God, why do you do this? Why the Five of Cups in reverse? Because the Five of Cups in reverse, that's why. Great answer. But the Ace of Pentacles, for the most part, I don't know why I'm clarifying these cards because they're saying the same thing. It's very clear. You just want to come out of that feeling of, you know, that when a breakup just happens and it's just, it's just kind of over your head, it's hanging over your head. Both of you want to get out of that feeling naturally but why the six of cups is the outcome okay death i see a lot of signs of change and transformation could it be that some of you transform or become not transform as a person but the relationship itself transforms goes from being this to being friendship or more but Three of Swords in reverse, there's healing going on. I do feel like a lot of you are healing, getting over the situation with time. But the Five of Pentacles, someone remains feeling left out. I feel like this person, like the more they start to feel left out or drained or the more they, they obsess about this, the more likely they are to try to reconnect your response to that i don't know it's up to you let me see and taurus oh we have forgiveness forgiveness and surrender these two look similar some of you might do it like i said it's it's i feel like there's there's two sides there's the taurus who is getting over this there's a taurus who is getting back together Either way, Taurus does not want to be feeling this Five of Cups anymore. This pain. The sadness. 
Soulmate recognition and fate, which means if it's meant to be, it will be, even if it takes time. What's the advice for Taurus? Hold your vision. Confidence is your key to success and your dreams need a practical plan. We have Leo and Taurus energy here. Time to give rather than take. Virgo energy. You're ready. Within the next few months, recovery and wait. Something's gonna happen. And it's, it still doesn't answer your question, does it? Because there's a time frame within the next few months, but what is it gonna be? You getting over them or you taking them back? We have recovery. We have the Three of Swords, so the pain is going away. But in what way? <laughs> in the way of you getting over it or in the way of, of having your person back? I feel like I'm not helping at all. <laughs> because there's no answer. I, I guess you have the answer because it's your situation. But all I see is that this person, they're watching you and they're doing this as a way to like i don't feel like it's about control or anything like that i feel like they feel it's the best thing they can do it's the best way they can get information or figure out where your head is at when it comes to them without having to message you know like back in the day when there was no social media you just had to like like back when you had motorola's <laughs> and there was literally there was no facebook you just had to send someone a text and hope for the best. <laughs> well, now now people can look at your profile, look at what you're posting and try to read the mood behind it and try to get information like that. So I feel like that's what this person is doing. Like they're, they're using their resources because they're so afraid. So... Let's see. Going into singles. What's going on with single Taurus? What's going on? Ooh, okay. You and the moon, Taurus. My goodness. Pisces, Cancer, um, Energy, and the High Priestess. This, this don't answer your question still. I feel like you just... Uh, Taurus, you are opposite to Scorpio, so the mystery of the Scorpio is upon you. Right now, it's a mystery, and you know what? Keep, keep this in mind. Let this be your guide. You have surrender, so let that be your guide, the universe. But let your prayers, visualizations, and affirmations you know, dictate your future. Whatever you make your future, that is what it's going to be. Because right now, this, this doesn't want to tell you anything that's going to happen. So, to make you feel better, you have the control of creating it for yourself. What's coming up in the near future? Please tell me. There's no more moon card in, in the deck. So, what's coming up in the, new, in the near future for Taurus, who are single? You're waiting for something. A lot of you are still going to be healing. There's still there's still the room for the new beginning, but you're going to learn something from this healing process. Whether you end up back with someone or not, during this time you're going to you're going to learn something. You're going to see a whole new perspective. Pay attention to your emotions and your feelings. Feeling your emotions is real strength and it will make you stronger rather than running away, distracting yourself from them. It's important to feel through the pain. Allow it to be and allow it to pass. You're going to learn something from this. But you're also waiting for something. Some of you, you probably can see a crush. I'm being drawn to this. So some of you, it could be a new person or the one you're already connecting with. But I, I see this as you recognizing who your soulmate is, but just waiting to see if it's fate, if it's meant to be. Because if it is, then it will come to you. You won't have to go to it. So 
So, who's coming towards the single Taurus? Someone stable. Queen of Pentacles, male or female? Oh boy, the devil. Capricorn energy, Libra energy with the Empress. This could be the same person coming towards you because they do have that slight um, insecurity or lack of confidence and still trying, still thinking about how to make this work. Could be them, could be that they, um, could be that they start to heal themselves as well and improve. But this could be someone new. If it's someone new, they have someone who is or has gone through their healing process someone who has built a life for themselves or quite stable or just know what knows what they want but i see you learning from this and with the high priestess energy i see you becoming way more stronger spiritually emotionally there's a mystery here like the universe is planning something for you you're turning down offers here that don't feel right whether it's love or career and I feel like your intuition is getting stronger so you're able to know what feels right and what doesn't. But this this moon and this high priestess, something is up and you're being asked to just let the universe do what it's doing because clearly it's not revealing everything to you right now. So Taurus, this is what I'm seeing for you. Hopefully this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.